Well, today's the 28th. And then, uh, here's our next unlikely candidate. Of course, we're checking traps early morning because we've got to work this afternoon or midday. So, dirt hole. I don't remember what bait or lure I used. Alright, guys. Well, here's another one today. Um, might have a touch of mange right there on his back. Could just be muddy, too. And, uh, good size male. I'm guessing. Looks like a male. This was a double punch set. I used uh, I was a clump of grass, kind of like that, but it was right there. That's where the traps anchored. I just had a double punch set in there. Some Violator 7 in one hole, GH2 in the other. Then I put some Gusto on the top of that post right there. That is a big call below. There we go. Alright, guys. See you down the line. Well, still a 28. Saw a coyote over here somewhere. Well, there he is. That last one didn't have mange. It had a big old hole in the side of it. I don't know if it got gored by a cow or what. But uh, this is a pretty nice looking one here. Young pup. This was a dirt hole. I caught that one first check right over there. So we put a, maybe it was a second check. I caught that one. Can't remember. First check. So I put another, that was fresh set one in here. And now I don't know if we'll go over on that pile or a little bit further there and put in a new clean set. This is the uh, dead pit where they dumped all the dead cattle and sheep and goat. So it's just a hot spot over here. And it took at least five or six in the month I trapped it last year. So it's a dirt hole probably had they had either high water or John Graham's cat creek bait. But there's number three Montana. Another pad catch. <laughs>